Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm continuing a really interesting series called Replacement Singers, Who Did It Better? Next up is Queensryche. But before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe to my channel, that would be really cool. Um, I have a singing course, I'm a vocal instructor, and the singing course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at kentamplinvocalacademy.com, where I also have a free singing forum over there with over 25,000 singers, all talking about how to get good at singing, okay? Uh, so I wanna dive right in. Now we know that uh, Jeff Tate was original vocalist, uh, Todd Latour came in, after that to fill his shoes. We got some footage of this stuff. I wanna have some groundwork here of your commenting and so forth and say, again, um, we have to ask some serious questions. The question is, did, did Todd as a replacement singer come in? Did he raise the bar as a singer? Uh, did he uh, contribute significantly creatively? Uh, did he, um, you know, continue on with the band for however long? You know, did the band continue on, or did they kind of fizzle out? Um, and did they write new music? What kind of a front man is he, and so forth? So we've got to ask a lot of these questions, and so let's dive in and start asking. Here we go. Okay, before we get into the chorus to so take over the flame, I wanna make a comment on that section and also a comment about these videos. Again, I try to get the best footage that I can that publishing companies will allow. So I know there's better stuff floating around. I really did the best I could and same thing with Todd. I tried to get the best stuff with him. At the beginning of this, it sounded like he was very reserved on how he was approaching it so that he could get to the high note and there wasn't a lot of energy in it. And I've seen that a couple times with Jeff where he's paced himself to the point where there, he doesn't, he's not really, wasn't super aggressive in, in his approach as a front man and as a singer live. And he's doing that, I'm sure, to maintain good vocal health as best as he can and, and pace himself, like I said. But I did notice that there, but he does step up to the plate and push into the art. And again, he's, he, remember, he's the originator of this kind of sound. So just so, because someone could come in and reduplicate the sound or emulate the sound or clone the sound, it's very different. So let's continue, here we go. Pretty good performance. I mean, spot on vocally, hitting all the notes. Now he's you know building up more energy for the band, etc. Pretty good stuff, man. It sounds like the record. I mean, when you can pull it off that clean live, that great a pitch. Now I know he was kind of hit or miss too in some of his performances, and I've heard a lot of people that have seen him that you know uh, they've likened him under other you know progressive singers. I don't want to mention names um, that you know were not necessarily that consistent live. So let's continue. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is spot on. You know? Ah! You know, just like really good vocal placement, good vowels, good tones, good round, kind of like it's soaking and reverb kind of sounds. Pretty good stuff, man.
cool. All right, let's check out you know what Todd's got going on here because um, again, it really really big shoes to fill stepping into this right here. So I want to get over here to Todd. Let's do this. Here we go. Vakin open air. <laughs> Ken, shut up. You just destroyed his intro. Let's do this again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is me. Here we go. Let me carry you! Now, what did you notice right away? Todd is a very different singer. He's got different energy. He's more kind of an aggressive metal singer. I know this is, you know, uh, kind of metal opera in some ways, but um, he comes in and throws down, and again, it's Vakken Open Air. But uh, he isn't so ginger on the low end like, um, like Jeff was, uh, and he just comes out all guns blazing, right? Right out of the gate with his nice big wind up all the way to the note, some growl going on there. Now, I want to make a couple side notes. I always wondered what Iron Maiden would have sounded like with Todd or Halloween would have sounded like with Todd because he could pretty much step into any one of those bands and I think do a pretty stinking good job. And I don't, Jeff is more signature and very much more towards the Queen's right sound and crowd and be very specific to Queen's right. So Todd is a little more, in my personal opinion, is a little more diversity, some more energy, is more aggressive. Um, Jeff is a little more pristine in his approach to some of his vowels and whatnot and is a little cleaner on the sounds uh, and just a little more, I don't wanna use the word precise, but maybe that is a good word, technically speaking, precise, but man, Todd's throwing down pretty hard here. Yeah. See, it? Queen of the Rock. He's got more distortion in the sound. I gotta say, he raised the bar, guys. I really do. I gotta say that um, that Todd brought it up a notch, uh, a little bit, kind of like when Bruce Dickinson stepped in Iron Maiden, brought it up a lot. Todd's brought up the energy, brought up the sound, you know, put some life into the band. I think that's really cool. Got that Dickinson kind of thing, right? Good stuff, man. See, now the difference is Jeff would have gone, ah, and Todd's goes, yeah. No, he doesn't really do that, but he goes, and he adds a little bit of distortion into the sound. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I get in these moods and I just can't help myself. Um, but um, so he, he's a little more aggressive and you know, he's got some, some dirtier tone, but I, I like that. I think that's cool. Awesome. Yeah, and, and you know, the way he struts around on stage with the authority and stuff, man, I gotta hand it to, to Latore. I think, I think Todd 
I think Todd stepped up and brought it up a notch. It's my personal opinion. And I like both singers, you know. Um, but you tell me what you think. You put in the comment sections. I know that there's been some other brushes with other singers at Queen's Record stuff. And so, like, I'm just focusing on the main guys here. But put in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and comments on this because it really helps me. Also, too, let me know if there's other bands that you want to hear uh, the juxtaposition between, again, the original singer and the replacement singer. And definitely stick around and check out my next video.